I've gone one ahead of myself, ladies and gentlemen, representing Australia, the Lutes, Mark Luziari. Ladies and gentlemen, his opponent representing the black corner, Diesel X Sutlanga. for the fourth fight on the card. So that all done with. We're about to get down to business. And wherever you might be watching on Epicenter right around the globe, a warm welcome to you. Things certainly starting to warm up here. John Cavasini, who joins me in commentary. You know a lot about Mark Luciari, Luciari the Luch. Yes, I do. Uh, I've had the pleasure of calling uh, some of Luch's fights in the past. He's originally from Melbourne, which is uh, my hometown, but now based out of Queensland. Look, Luch comes into centre ring and will always give 110%. Leave nothing to chance, but take nothing away from Dieselick as well. We're in the 74 kilogram weight division, probably the heaviest we'll see here tonight. So expect these two fighters to absolutely load up. Yeah, well, Lucci's been loading up after making way, and he had to cut right down. I've never seen a man looking so hungry. He had a good feed yesterday after the final weigh-in, Lucci. Coming in close to right knee there from Dieselek. Yeah, Dieselek uh, looks to have uh, a very, very slight height advantage on uh, Lucci. Oh, big left round kick from uh, Dieselek. He seems to rock markers early here in his first round. He does, he does. Another big high left round kick did not connect. Blocked by Lucci's right glove on that occasion. Yeah, look at the fantastic use of that front kick teep by Dieselek just to keep Lucci at range. Stops him dead in his tracks. He's down, Lucci. Yeah, another good goal strength from Dieselek. The push kick they seem to use a whole lot more often, the ties. Yeah, absolutely, and they are renowned for it, not only as a defensive technique, Chris, but it's also used as an offensive technique. There's a high left. I think Bluch took that on the chin. We've actually seen fighters in the past knocked out from front kick teeps, particularly when they land it right under the chin. Oh, there's a left. Just pushing Luch back, losing his footing. Well, we saw the previous fight, Eric Miskell, he went out in the first round, a KO. That was a right knee, it crushed his ribs. Yeah, good double up by Dieselek, sweep, round kick. Sort of technique that you don't see too often. Once again, that high left round kick from Dieselek just getting through to Luch's guard. 
Yeah, he's athletic, isn't he? He feigns with both gloves up, coming forward, and then throws the big high left kick. There it is again, not connecting. Well, the thing is, uh, Chris, he's throwing it off the lead leg. I wonder how much power he's got when he throws it off the support, uh, off his rear leg. Well, Luciari will be hoping he doesn't find out. Yeah, step knee from Dee's leg as well. Both blocked. He's lost his uh, two of his last three fights, says Luciari. He, he broke his ribs in his last fight, which he did lose. He's, he's back to full health, but that did take a fair bit out of his preparation for this against Dieselek. Only lost 11 of 34 fights. Luciari now at Rabina on the Gold Coast of Australia and Queensland. Yeah, once again, that uh, left round kick, but Luch just plastering that right hand to the side of his face. He obviously felt the power in that kick and now very wary of uh, his left. Tempted spinning elbow from uh, Luciari. Luciari meets the canvas again. Just a slip though, nothing in it. And that'll be all she wrote the first yeah, round of this the fourth fight. I don't know, pretty evenly poised. Luch found the canvas a couple of times, though. D Select uh, very good with the knees, and that left high kick he's using to uh, to extreme in the opening exchanges. Yeah, look, uh, D Select really putting on a kicking display. Uh, the fighter I'd want to nickname the mule because all he did was seem to kick in that round. So D Select, a man who's won three world titles, about to take on uh, Mark Luciari in the second round of his fourth fight tonight. I did say he's lost two of his last three fights, Luciari. Uh, he is coming off a loss, though. That was back in July to Emilio Schmidt. He broke his ribs, but he is back to full fitness. But he's some contender, this Dieselek. He knows his business. Yeah, and Dieselek opening up uh, this second round once again with those uh, very strong round kicks. That left, high, left foot high kick using a lot in the first round. There it goes again around the ears of, of Luciari. And another one. Standing tall though, and they embrace. Yeah, referee uh, Yong Sak Songkla just separating both fighters over there near the neutral corner. So Dieselik uh, alternating into southpaw oh. dances. Once again, he just plants that round kick on the chin of uh, Luciari. So much of it's about balance, John, isn't it? Get him off the balance, and then you come in with the high kick, as he did then on, on the Luch. Yeah, tempted knee guard from Luch, but uh, both fighters hit the canvas. Uh, no scoring technique at all. Two-time super middleweight Australian champion is Mark Luciari of the Strike Force gym on the Gold Coast in Rabina. 22 wins. Oh, oh. what an amazing show of strength from Dieselek. Absolutely. He just and backs it up. Luciari on the canvas with the minimum of fuss. And that's all technique. Yeah, absolutely. Just the excellence of execution. Giving away about five centimetres in height, I'd say, Dieselek, but he seems to be getting up. <laughs> <laughs> he seems to be getting up very high with that left foot with ease. Just waiting for Luciari to be off balance and then going in for the kill. As a strategy, I think that Luciari is uh, actually trying to do the right thing by just closing the gap on uh, Dieselek and try and work the clinch. But really, once they do tie up, uh, Dieselek not giving him the opportunity to throw any knees at all. Bang, bang from Dieselek. As you say, it's three by three minute rounds and it's all about going the distance. Anything can happen in Muay Thai. It can change in an instant. Luch wary of that. There's a left knee from Dieselek. Just above the groin to Luciari. Yeah, good work by Dieselek. Throwing to the ground. <laughs> oh, Dieselek absolutely... Uh, he knows. He means business and he's trying to uh, demonstrate that in centre ring. Frustrating Luciari now. Not a lot of force in it, but he's seen the canvas one too many times, you'd think, Luciari for his liking. And down he goes again, although they both go down together. Yeah, that was better work by Luci. He managed to get one knee into the left rib cage of Dieselek. And there we go.
Well, as I said, he's found the canvas a couple of times. That's the way they ended the second round, and this the fourth right. But uh, he's a flexible guy, so athletic is this young D Select, and uh, he knows his business. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, good shelf strength from D Select. He put Luciari on the canvas a couple of times quite easily, but uh, he seems to have frustrated Mark Luciari. First two rounds to D Select. As I said, Luciari coming off his last fight loss where he, he suffered a broken ribs, TKO. And John Cavasini again with me in commentary. Dieselek ahead pretty clear, you'd think, on the first two rounds. Yeah, quite a dominant display by Dieselek so far in these first two rounds. Mark P is having uh, quite a lengthy discussion with uh, Luciari in between that second and third round. And look at this, Dieselek unleashing in the start of the third round with a couple of right el left elbow, right elbow, and a big left cut, but there's a nice front kick from Luciari. It got through the guards into the sternum of Dieselek. Oh! Well, there it is. Mark's gone downstairs with that low kick. He's quickly back onto his feet. He's got to get perhaps a bit of a premature victory celebration by Dieselek. Luciari nods his head, but uh, it's the left kick that's been doing the damage so far, Chris. Oh, you blink, you miss it. Dieselek already celebrating up on the ropes. Luciari be keen to keep that right guard up to prevent another onslaught. Here comes Dieselek now. Oh, big. Oh. I think that was a double blow with the knee. Pushing yeah. Luciari onto the ropes. Yeah, jumping knee from uh, Dieselek. Oh, a jumping knee to the stern, and that's mm. got to hurt, and he's got all the tricks mm. in his bag, Dieselek. Mm. Luciari, though, is not going. Oh, it's a oh, reverse nice. round. Yeah, nice elbow. spinning elbow. Big smile from Dieselek because he knows that connected. <laughs> he didn't see it coming either. Yeah. Come on, the Aussie. I'm a little bit biased here. Wherever you're watching on Epicenter, right around the world, though, Dieselek, you think, in firm control after what we think taking the first two rounds. Oh, oh, yeah. Bert's elbow. Luch blocked it. Oh, Dieselek, look at that. Double technique once again. Sweep round kick. Look at him dancing on the balls of his feet. The mm. confidence now being shown by Dieselek. The Luch. drums. Drums in the background and Dieselek dancing to the rhythm. Mm. Just a little scrappy in the clinch. So once again, referee Yong Sak Songkla separates both fighters. Oh, nice step up knee from Dieselik. Puts Luciari on the back foot once again. As I said, he almost struggled to make this way, Luciari. He was very hungry coming into the fight. I guess not the ideal preparation, but this mm. guy's got every trick in his bag, Dieselik. Mm. He looks a consummate professional, a mm. consummate fighter, and so well balanced. Mm. Uh, good work by Luciari. He's not going anywhere in a hurry, is he, Luch, though? He's not backing down. No, he's as tough as they come, Chris. He looks it. Oh, big looping right hand. But uh, look at Dieselik, just grabs him and spins him around back onto the ropes. Deceptively powerful downstairs, Dieselik. Very strong legs and quads. Bang, left knee goes in. Another one from Dieselek. Luciari is not going anywhere. Comes back in close. Tries to land a right elbow, but can't. There oh, she there is. Go. Oh, this. Oh, my scorecard, Chris. This could be another convincing victory to Team Thailand. Yeah, it looked that way, didn't it? Uh, he had all the tricks, did Dieselek. Uh, a vastly more experienced fighter than Mark Luciari. What do we know? Let's soon hear from the judges. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we have gone to the judges' scorecards. We have a unanimous points decision. All judges scored the contest 30-26, declaring your winner, Team Thailand. Oh, well, there you go. Chris, at the end of the day, convincing uh, decision. All three judges had it the same way for Diesel. Oh, that's great. the ledger now. It's uh, Australia 2, Thailand 2. Yeah, two apiece. Six more to come. Stay with us.